So I wanted to show you the system that I use to house my chickens. And my system's a little bit different than what most people have because most people don't have the real estate to do what I do and or they just don't have the time to put into developing something for themselves. But I, I designed these coops myself, uh, designed them and I built them myself. There's that one there and there's this one over here. And they're the same concept, and that concept is twofold. Uh, I wanted them off the ground because, you know, when they're on the ground, you know, predators can sneak up and, and can get to them. Uh, also, I wanted it off the ground so that I didn't have them standing in the same uh, litter every day. You know, some people will have a, a structure like, like this, and they'll, they'll, you know, close off the front and put a door for the chickens to enter and the chickens will basically just, you know, have roosting bars in there and just poop on the floor. And as the poop gets bad, they just add more, uh, more uh, uh, mulch on top of it or hay or something. And it's called the deep litter method. They just keep building up the, the litter. Well, as you can guess, it gets a lot of parasites that way and people will clean it out once a year. But even once a year, you can have a good buildup of of bad insects and and other things, mites that will attack the birds when they're roosting at night. You know, they'll they'll attach themselves to the birds and they'll get a blood meal or whatever. And so the chickens can become stressed and unhealthy because they're you know they're scratching at night. They're not a, they're not getting a good good sleep. So what I did is I designed this to be able to have the the uh, poop for the most part fall to the ground. And I haven't cleaned this one this morning. I know it's a little gross, but I wanted to show you that it doesn't get too fouled too badly. I mean, there are spots, but for the most part, the poop, as you can see, the fresh poop from last night falls to the ground. And um, I use one inch by one inch square, a uh, plastic coated wire on the bottom and half inch square um, wire mesh for the sides and the doors. And that is so that it minimizes the chance of predators coming in or snakes. Now, the bottom is a little bigger because I started off with this wire mesh before this half inch by half inch, and I found that there was just too much poop collecting and I was having to clean it. You know, it was hard to clean every morning. The one inch by one inch has made that a lot easier. And I have these roosting bars and this is just a standard two by four that I have on its side. And then you can see, I just angled them there. And, you know, I can provide more details on this if somebody has questions, but I designed it so that it's mobile. Um, and the reason that I wanted it to be mobile is that I wanted to move it around so that I can essentially fertilize the ground whenever I need to. So this here, you know, will come down. I can, I can take this off and this can, can attach to a trailer and you can move it or you can actually just move it by hand. It's very easy to move by hand. And then I have an automatic door on each of these that opens up at a certain prescribed time or time of day or, you know, based on sunlight, you can program it how you want. And I have a ramp and I have the ramp on a hinge so that I can put the ramp up. I can, I can drag the chain around, tie it there, and then I can move it where I want. And when I find a spot where I want it, I just put the, the ramp back down and the chickens have their ability to, uh, to access. Just have a simple corrugated roof. I added this uh, pipe uh, protecting foam. You know, it's, it's self stick, but I ended up adding more caulking myself. This is just so that I don't gouge my eye out or slash myself when I'm walking by the, the very sharp galvalume. I did that on, on my own as well. Uh, but these two houses essentially allow all of my birds to figure out where they wanna spend the night. So if one gets too crowded, the others can go over here. They know to put themselves to bed at, at, at dusk and I make sure the door closes after they're in, you know, I just by trial and error and it protects them from predators at night because your animals will be susceptible to predators at night. So that's how I do it. And every couple of days I'll just move the units to a new spot and the old spot can start to heal and grass can start to grow again and the new spot will get some, some chicken fertilizer. And so that's, that's how I do it. And then as you can see, I also added a water, a waterer. This is a nipple waterer. The chickens know to peck this thing and, and the water comes out. And this is a feeder that I mentioned before, a free feeder that uh, you can fill from the top. And it's got this neat mechanism at the bottom that they, when they peck, the food drops. And then you can, you have a little baffle in there 
that you can change out to decide what size grain you want, uh, you know, for whatever grain you're using. And you do by trial and error, you find out what works. But the, the birds know, you know, something red they're going to peck at. That's why the nipplers are red, and that's why these this is red. And they know to peck it after, you know, about a week, they figure it out. But if they peck, more food will drop. And so they can, you know, get access to their food whenever they need to. And I put this inside the uh, house, uh, the, the coop, instead of outside for two reasons. Uh, it protects it from the heat. You know, the, the, it's always shaded. But also, if the birds go in early and they're still hungry, or if, if, if I don't have it programmed to where the door comes up right at, at dawn, because some animals will be prowling at dawn, then the chickens, if they're up and about, they can start feeding before they even get out the door. So that's kind of how I have it set up. And the last feature I wanted to show you about this is I have all these panels, you know, you see here, and they have all these little eye, eye hooks here. I have made some inserts that are made out of uh, plywood, you know, similar to this three quarter inch plywood, and but I think it's half inch. And I can put them in in the winter time, and I can I have um, uh, little clasps like this that I can then you know make them stay in these different sections. So that's a wind protector, so that it becomes very insulated on the inside. So even if it's cold, you don't get a lot of wind rushing through. So that is, uh, that is my mobile coop system that I designed and built. And uh, so far, I've just built two. Pretty, pretty involved, but uh, it all serves a purpose. And so far, it seems to be working very well.